I grew up drawing my whole entire life, um, figure drawing primarily, and I would say my junior year in college is when I actually started painting more seriously. I immediately shifted into using unconventional materials. I started using objects from my own childhood, things with a certain luster or polish to them, um, thinking back on china cabinets and these little beautiful encrusted plates creating that fiction of glamour, of decadence, of wealth, I think is something that's heavily ingrained into drag culture that always fascinates me, but it's also heavily ingrained into black culture. Um, looking at, you know, even certain places where I went to school growing up, a lot of people felt the importance of wearing gold chains, um, a ton of jewelry, or, you know, the sort of like young women wearing bamboo gold hoop earrings with their names inscribed in them, and those types of, uh, things to me all kind of conflate into wanting or desiring to appear much more than one maybe feels that they are or deserve to be. Even as a child, I would very rarely go to the barber shop actually. Um, I never f felt welcome in that space. I always felt like I was too effeminate or I wasn't used to being around so many hyper-masculine men. And painting myself in Sit Still, the largest painting that I made in that entire series, there's actually uh, the barber's hands, who is always anonymous in every one of those paintings. Um, those barber's hands come in with a knife for shaving my neck. My head is tilted upwards and so that kind of tension of um, yes, this fictional space might be beautiful and welcoming and exciting and fun and playful and lighthearted, but it is, in reality, still unreasonable to envision me entering that space and feeling fully safe, even now. The Warhol Museum is, this, how I see it, this perfect place for Devin to have his first solo show. It just connects to a history for Devin, a history of painting, um, and Devin's work brings Warhol's work to life. After a lot of conversations with Devin about this body of work in Warhol's practice, Devin started this new um, body of work around trans women and drag queens, and specifically a drag queen in Miami that he met, Miss Toto. Um, so that painting will be situated within Warhol's paintings of, um, from this series, from the Ladies and Gentlemen series. I think the most important thing for me in this exhibition is that people leave with a new image of what um, race can look like. You know, he's working in a, a long history of painters that have come before him that have brought light to black protagonists and in painting into a canon that doesn't necessarily have the black protagonist as the main figure in painting. What Devin's doing now is creating a space to also embrace an alternative perspective on that race. So queering of that identity, bringing in the feminine, not actually positioning the masculine always around blackness, painting the flesh in different colors. There's a painting called Butterfly Eater in which the flesh of the figure takes on the crimson sunset. So really challenging and complicating our ideas around race and identity in a really productive way.